podcast is for real stories. People who also want to get into the podcast movement. I'm not even gonna say that anymore. No real starters. It's uh, anybody who believes in the the medical community. If you truly believe in the medical community, period, just tap in with us. Because we're all about living better lives. Okay, hold on. What do you feel? Okay, you said about the medical community. Now, what if everybody wants to be a part of the medical community but doesn't fully support the law surrounding become a legal medical patient? It depends on what product you're talking about now. Yeah, definitely. Because we got multiple cannabis. Cannabis, cannabis in our market. Uh, I'm not talking. It's, about, it's beautiful. It's okay. I'm talking about personally. Like, I like but I do believe. I do believe in our, our age limits. Okay. But I believe yeah. our age limits are uh, incorrect. Because depending on through the, through my personal how experiences you it. in my life. Marijuana has helped me personally with a lot of shit since 16. Oh, yeah. And knowing a lot of people in California. In California, the kids are growing up real fast. Right. Let's let's admit it. They're doing a lot of shit way quicker than I should have. So, to tell them this is medicinal and this is, this is medication kind of keeps their head on more of a... Oh. Uh, my bad. It's good. On a more of a um, on a good path instead of let's use some bullshit. Because they love doing those pills and no, the bowl. Everyone and... should look up the YouTube video Charlotte's Web, and they should watch Charlotte. They Everybody look at her story. in the men- cannabis community, we know about Charlotte's Web. My wife personally loves it because it's CBD quality. Now, everybody that yes. sleeps on these CBD, CBD qualities... No, it's, it's hot. It's almost like, all CBD. This little girl... It is. It's, it low, is. it's, it's very so low, low in THC. You could smoke a pound and not get high. This little girl in the video, she I was like guarantee. paralyzed. She was paralyzed. No. She wouldn't I, eat I on like her that. own. Everyone had to feed her. Like, she wasn't doing things where she was supposed to be doing at her age group. Then when she, her mom started making that oil that you drop in her mouth from CBD, of getting it from the she was fine. plant itself, kicked in a few minutes. It less kicked, seizures, yeah. less everything. It's her seizures just mild. Just really, By the way, really this is my down. wife. Uh, you can catch her on PlayStation Network, Demon Death Girl. Yeah. The E's are threes. Yeah. Um, please. You seen the ones where they uh, had the nasal spray? Yeah, where the, the kids with the grand mouth seizures. I'm still amazed uh-huh. by the fucking 20 roll on. Seizures. The roll on on the bottom of the soul. 20 seconds. Soul. 20 seconds. That kid was That's cute. what it was? It was 20 for, seconds. I thought it was 15, but, but yeah. People, that's 15, 20. I don't give a fuck. That's still half a minute. And you're yeah. seizure free. But as a parent, it's like, free, what do we do? Medic- like, right. our kid is having a seizure. Like You can't tell me. We have to either Hold get... On. You Our can't tell me if you or... see these videos on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Vine, Reddit, whatever the fuck you see it on, and you don't have any type of capacity. You see these kids and grown people going through this pain, and you see them medicate with the CBD. fuck marijuana, CBD, period, and they, they're better twice, way quicker than any medication they could give us. Right. Why yeah. the fuck would I be mad at that? No, I it gotta, makes me uh, cr- damn near like cry inside to to see these people in this pain and and they can't get legal medication right. for shit and the because, law won't let them legally because forty what because is, a plan forty years is out of uh, propaganda yeah forty years come on plant forty years outlawed. of propaganda is forty years of uh, Northern California gang banging. So let's right. imagine. If now, you, let's just say this was your child. Somebody in the government's listening to this. Let's just say this was your child. And your child yes. was... You didn't want to see your child in the hospital with IVs all over at six, seven, eight Season years old. Up every, Season up every, every you hour. You can't do nothing about it. And then all of a sudden, for, it comes out. You can... Drop ten drops and five drops Not in her even. mouth. It took some shit that looked like a an inhaler and rubbed it on this guy's foot on the bottom. Yeah, have you seen the one with the inhaler? Later, he was fine. 
Did, and did you no. see with the kid with the inhaler? No. They but I have seen inhaler, the inhaler it. that, uh, 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 what's it called? Burger the fuck with? Uh, yeah. Um, you know, Vaping. Vaping. Vaping clear. Vaping clear is the inhaler. That's what it is. It's, uh, I thought it was something else. We'll look it up. But yeah, yeah. Whatever. Um, but yeah. You know what I'm talking about. 20 seconds. Within 20 yes. seconds, that's how fast it's, it's the, relaxed. Canna- the cannabis plants extracts activate. They- now, I do believe the government has allowed, like in Kentucky, North Carolina, something like that, mm-hmm. to grow acres of cannabis, but under zero uh, under point zero zero two or zero two THC. So they they per point. It's they're hemp farms. Hemp. Period. Mm-hmm. Hemp farms. And they they you manufacture can get away with, it. You into, can get away with Charlotte's Web. Exactly. But they manufacture it into more than just the CBD products. Right. Now, folks, if you don't know, if you're not informed very much, hemp can replace plastic, which has cancerous chemicals. It can replace. Uh, uh, what? Brick, fucking wood, uh, Yo, bamboo, trees, toilet that you paper, need, everything you in life can, can be replaced you can actually pretty much make with him. Like dead seriously. Like there's no gonna be a day it'll to grow where there's looking be, like marijuana, but there will be no buds, no seeds. No, there's just gonna be, a, be a day to where we have a space bucket made out of hemp. We can. You know what? Like the hemp you made plastic textiles. Our sponsor. That, yo, where are they? We ain't got the live on no more? No, uh, no we're okay. recording. Uh, this is live. Mostly 8 Safe on Instagram. That's right, right? Mostly Safe 8. Yeah, Mostly Safe 8. Tap in. Come on. We got ideas. That's an idea. We got ideas. But, we just try yeah, to make the world a better place. Hemp can do a lot more than what the government, for some odd reason, ha- is... No, they, they do Come allow on, it. Now. You can make paper. But it's just like with the drug trade. They allow a certain amount in. Yeah. They legalize like, this area, this... I'm kind of glad there's a certain amount of acres for hemp. That they're saying, okay, yeah, you can have a hemp farm, you can have a hemp farm. Now but it doesn't make sense because CBD is legal in all 50 states. Yeah. So you can go... Period. So... We know that pretty much a lot of it is coming from government grown. Now they're um, trying to allow us some access, but they don't want to give a shit. Well, now that there's a new booming cannabis market and there's a lot of guys who get their male seeds, you know what I'm saying, their male crop out of there. Of course. Push them. That male isn't going to do anything. It's going to be hemp. hemp. Which is still a beautiful product. So, I mean, that... Now, I had some can be transported Nike over and into hemp. the commercial world. I had some Nike hemp dunks. That motherfucker's khaki and so wet. Mm. Man, they lasted so long, and I put them motherfuckers through some shit. I'm talking late night, running from the police, all kinds of stuff. You fool with it. They beat the fuck up, and they held their own. Right. For about three years, before I caught a hole in the side, and I was like, you know what, turf them. On the phone line. But, hemp. After that, I truly believed in it because it lasted way longer than any leather bullshit I had. And I didn't have to to worry about my color chipping off and looking funny and funky and shit. It was hemp. If it did anything, it stretched and ripped and you couldn't tell. Right. They added a fan spacer in theirs because we were talking about ours. Okay. There you go. What Talk happened? about the inspiration. So it, our sponsor put this up on their Instagram. Uh, it says inspiration comes in many forms. We're happy to inspire. Especially when like-minded, uh, like minds get together. Watching the What Are We Doing podcast space bucket build has me tooling with my own space buckets. An additional fan spacer keeps air, uh, keeps air draw across the canopy while acting as an exhaust. Mm-hmm. Great way to keep mold away from your bay. Yes, because you need constant yeah. airflow, folks. Yeah. So just cause the top, I don't know what, two, three inches of your dirt is dry. Yep. Underneath folks, your dirt dirt has soaked up and your roots are holding moisture. But I like to water once I can't once I'd like kinda dig a little hole and mm-hmm. if it's like to the point where it's still like powdery just coming off my hand, yeah. I water water. Just then she's been drinking mm-hmm. way fast. Now me I got this uh, this bitch on uh schedule. I got this mind bitch on schedule. 
and it's every I, I watered it every probably twice a week middle and the end of the week and it was doing beautiful until it was doing beautiful all the way until the watering day where it would look like it would it's, need uh, it would absolutely yes it was super droopy like need, it was sleep yes mine like too that's how I started that noticing shit. so I'd water it that night and it was so cool it would take it but from talking with um with the uh, uh, growers who've had acres and acres of land of right which we'll talk about personally later uh, acres and acres of shit I took their advice and they said because the heat I should water every day now I took their advice and modified it to every other day right now I've watered it the last two days so I'm going to leave it for two days and then water it and keep it on every other heat, day in this to heat just I to monitor two days, I'd go for another just like one one but it's cooling down though we're having a cool spurt right now yeah. It's dropping under oh, yeah, at 95. It's drop all week. Okay, we don't need yesterday. that. Do I put it in the no, that's no, for... No, no, no. no. Tr- that, look. Transplant shock. It reduces. So when we... Yeah, but what are you when we take that hands? out, this is vitamins to keep the roots going. Yeah, so it's like that's for... keep shock. When you want to super thrive. And then... That's what it's gonna do. Super it's gonna drive, or when he gets, uh, it's more like a looking at the pack. You can, I can ask you for some when we reach the pack. See what happens. Spare me. Knowledge folks, being we spread, are, folks. We gotta learn. Oh, okay. Super thrive. Uh, yeah, you see, this water is what bottle. I've been looking for. That shit stink like damn near like rotten eggs. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can bet. But you put a cor- I. I filled up the inside I part of the Gatorade leaf and poured out of my gallon, <coughs> watered that bitch. The next day I watered it with the uh, pure water. K- uh, cooled it all over the 16. Shout out to our sponsor for letting me know that information, which I did not know. I cooled it over 16, uh, or heated it over 16 hours in the sun out here in the 100 plus. And it's looking fine. But okay, a quarter teaspoon I need to gallon. let it on. I, I have to trim a couple fan leaves and here and there and a few tend to the burn areas and all that because it is, it's not really, uh, it's resilient in the cold, but with this hundred degrees, it's fucking it up. Hmm. Like if you look at all the leaves, some of them are starting to get burns. Yeah. But a lot of them aren't. But okay, I is do, that heat you burn, see this upper, is that heat stress or is that start is that newt lockout? I'm not because sure. Because it's growing because flower not, now. I've never ex- expanded my uh, uh, knowledge, if you will, so to this is like heat the, lockout. Gotcha. Because no that, nutrient lockout, whatever. Right, yeah, yes. nutrient lockout. Nutrient. Because yes. now that it's starting to make flowers, but this is it's why I have it as a um, learning process. Yeah. So I would as a feeding regimen, mm-hmm. I would now yeah. boost the Super Thrive okay. to that every other day schedule. Feeder, 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 and watch her like pop. Now, you read the Super Thrive, right? Yeah, because... It's a root development. Yeah. Okay. So Be- And yeah, remember, if they, yeah, the I'm more your plant so grows, you the think, more roots... If you think that sounds right, because I will experiment in... Or, I mean, now, I'd feed it... Like, today, I didn't the feed full it. Dose. It's today, the I didn't feed it. Per gallon. Mm-hmm. It's the full dose of what it's supposed to be, right? You give a little, take a little, but yeah, it's around there. Okay, eyeballing it, yeah. Um, but so today I haven't fed it. Tomorrow, if you re- if you feel I should, because it has been ninety plus, which ain't bad. It's just, but it ain't good. Notice if that soil's thirsty, it's not. Right now, but that's why I figured tomorrow or some. I'm gonna see how it looks tomorrow night. Right. Let the heat do its damage and repair at nighttime when it has the chance right, to cool it has, all it has night. Cool and go to sleep. Yeah. What? Shout out to our sponsor, folks. Uh, uh, and Smirnoff for keeping me gassed up. You know what? 
I gotta stop shouting out people we ain't even get fucking sponsored from. Hey yo, I'm just saying. Look, you know what? Vodka. Shout out to vodka. Messed up. Forgive. Keep it mean, nice and lovely. You know what I'm talking about? Sip slow. 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 And don't do it while you're hot, folks. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just not all. All good. Nope, not yet. Sugar dive in there and feed her, please. I Figure will. out how to do it and feed well, her. I will when it cools down and I'll feed it tomorrow. She is pretty cool right I now. I fed it last night. Yeah, but he said she needs water. He felt her dirt. No, I did. He'll be alright. I would, but if he's got a, already got a water and schedule for it. I did. It was uh, so twice a week, Wednesday and Saturday. Okay. But, See, I'm just, I just look at mine from, and I'm like, oh, from, Like I said, from, from experienced growers. Right from old school outdoor gorilla, damn near growing. Right, I take their advice and, and they say grow uh, water feed every day because it's so hot. Right, but I'm modifying it as I said. This is an experiment plant, folks. I have plenty of seeds and access to clones and all this such whatever to experiment on. I'm not worried. I'm worried about my technique. What do you mean? Such as how I'm growing, when I'm doing, timing on things. Um, what have you? You feel me? I haven't got into nutrients yet. But seeing right, as, you, I'm, I'm as you just got the, the I'm about to pack, jump in the gate on that. I will learn from yours. Right, because then so we then talk I about it on what the podcast. F- yeah, exactly. And personally, we, spread out we, the we, we share information. Right. Because... Shit, that's what growers do. And shoot, could be sharing these nutrients. Every, every grower I knew in Cali, all sh- knew other growers. They're all sharing oh, yeah. information. Because it was about love. Yeah, you wanted you know what to I'm see their crop do just as good as yours. If you had that fire, you want to see them do just as good as yours. And people pass information. That's not bad. Why do you think when they go to like when you got high times and all that good stuff after they win the cannabis cup? Then the year passes, and then you have that year to develop seeds enough for the community. Yes. Because then the community Which has I think a chance they to should grow. do anyways, because if you truly believe, like, in your artist, if you truly believe in your product, you should already be set up for the future. That's what I learned from, uh, shout out to Drink Champs, Nori, DJ, EFN. EFN. Uh, from the last podcast I watched, the industry talk. That's what the kind of hype they were on. Like, why get ready after when we believe in them and we know this is going to work? Let's get ready for that shit now. Right. So when it does happen, we're already prepared for the next level, the next step. That's what I'm trying to uh, keep us on and and mentality being in. So that when the next level happens, it's not so much of a shock for us. Right. Transition is so easy. Can't be mad at it. <coughs> I did. Wait, wait, wait. I did. Yes, sir. That might just be higher drunk talk, but you know what? Drunk facts. Educate, medicate, drunk facts. levitate. Learn no, some, get high, high and get lifted. If you ain't with it, then fuck off. Uh, We're only at 25, 26 minutes. Oh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got some time. 45 minute long show. 25 now. minutes left. 25, 30. 45. Oh, yeah. So, you know See, I like these 45 minute shows now. I really I do. do. I love them. I really do. But, you know what? With how much progress we've been putting in? Yes. A sponsor might just say, fuck it. And... Yes, I'm trying to drop seeds in the back of the mind. Trying to drop them seeds, just man. Pl- just plant them in the back of that uh, cerebellum. Let them grow Look, real quick to the front of the lobe. And I want to do a third eye. Let me see what you see. I want to go for, okay, a full three grows. Here's my plan. Because if I figure, if I've got the two LEDs that, mm-hmm. are, that I'm going to have plus the CFL. Yeah. The CFL is going to be the seedling. I'm going to grow... All in LED, pretty much. How after many that. CFLs? Uh, it's a four CFL light. Okay, setup. just for our, it gets hot. Man. For for 
Right. Everybody Four listening. Four CFL lights. Uh, one maybe exhaust you don't fan, follow, maybe do. Two intake fans over a span of three spacers and one runoff bucket. So that's what we're running with now on the space bucket. Um, with the other space bucket that we're growing, it's pretty much going to be the same in height and length. Um, we'll be one with the smart pod inside, the okay. three LED spacer, pl- fourth ma- makes the lid. UFL light drop down. So yeah, that thing's really pretty tall, dude. With the UF with the LED light. Here's a quick update question. How many buckets deep are you on it on your personal project now? The most. Doesn't matter which one, which version. Um yeah, the deepest or the most you've gone. The one with in spacers? The biggest you've made in your build. Okay, the biggest is, is for two for our followers to who don't is two point no. and that's gonna be the equivalent of three fives, uh, five gallon bucket, which like is 15 lid tops. So it's going to be literally from where you have where the lid comes, uh, you can put the lid on or take it off, whatever you want to do with it. Um, from that piece down to three notches and down two inches, cut that off, and that's your spacer. I'm in three deep, three spacers, yeah, deep. three spacers tall. Okay, now plus the bucket. Okay. That's five gallons. So you got that one. So it's like one, two, three, four tall. And then the problem with it is, is I'm thinking about doing another one because the LED, the CFL lights, like the LED, is sit yeah. down and they'll take up one space. No, to be clear, you, know you still haven't put the uh, the LED inside yet, right? No, I'm okay. not doing that one on this I'm one at all. I'm waiting for that because I'm curious on how that's going to work with. With uh, uh, circulation of the light, so with the span, light span inside the bucket with the foil tape, with the reflective lens, all that good stuff. Exactly. I test I fitted it just to that, see, but I didn't want to look directly at the lights because you know looking at LEDs will mess your head up yeah. unless you're like looking at the strip LED light strips. Oh my god, man, still does it, but yeah, bro. I know what you're talking about because of that. Um, so we went. Uh, I did that. Um, I have uh, like test fitted it. But I didn't go and install it. You know what I'm saying? Um, the installation of that. I'm waiting for the next bucket to go the full grow. And uh, and then we're going to do that um, on that end because... Uh, Um, just because on the the light setup, I don't want it to burn out. So, I'm gonna have to be, yeah, about four spacers deep, just with the UFO, the LED, because that sweet spot of the light that you want your light at least eight to twelve inches from the top, okay, and so then. Is it similar to that lid? By the way, folks, we're talking about my project. Yeah, it the is. lid is differently because okay, it's not exact. It's a five gallon, okay. but it's not a five the, gallon. That orange one, right? Mm-hmm. So, just how it is how right the there is sitting in right there. I would cut down on well, that yeah, white bucket line, where it's first, sitting in. The second I would white line cut in down the on that second white line right in the middle. Okay. That's how deep the spacer is going to be. Yeah, that would be of orange, and okay. that's going to be your total spacer. Okay. So and you're four of those deep. Yeah, in total, okay, include, that's some good height. including the bucket yeah. top itself, and then two, three, four. Yeah, that's some good height. Yeah, yeah. With the CFL light set up, of course. Um, so that one. Now, how was the progress with that one? Um, I'm gonna interview you right now, fucky. I I built that one because um I noticed um, after I def- uh I started defoliation mm-hmm. and I I thinned her Trim out it, folks yeah so when I trimmed simplify it I I thinned her out uh-huh. let her grow and I noticed the tops went to the light okay. and then the sides pushed out again okay. yeah yeah like it went it didn't grow they didn't want to grow up it's like they just it grew in a bush but you're a indica string right I believe so because with the look of the leaves and, and. Yeah, mine aren't like the genetics uh, give off uh, indica. Yeah, 
Which does make sense because it doesn't shoot up very far, but it does get super bushy. Yeah, getting it gets indica wide. Does, folks, indica does get super bushy. So if you happen to be growing or or educating yourself with it, and you notice that one plant isn't growing as much as the other, we there is three kinds: indica, sativa, and uh, hybrid root, ruderalis. Or a hybrid. Yeah, same difference. So, folks, don't worry. Right. It's okay. Just worry when you start seeing some shit that shouldn't be there. Mold. Bugs. Nutrient problems. Um, Mold. Mold. (laughs) Fuck, mold's a big-ass problem. Falls. Now, if you notice... I understand the mold issues, why they do hydroponics and... If you will Aeroponics Uh huh But You can't be natural dirt Now uh, Should I shout them out the, Remember do it I told you about on IG um, Out here that was growing Yo the, Yeah I follow him too dude. I follow him too Okay shout out to 420 Wizard yeah. OZ Yeah Cause he grows I follow him And He's a grower Man you, um, he, he knows his product And, who and knows he's, what doing he's doing the, um, He's doing the Um Worm castings, yeah, with with recycled um, material and compost, making the teas. And you know what? I truly believe in the growers because I've seen the progress. And hey, you can't deny proof in your face, right? Man, it's grown good, a lot and of... I, I, I applaud him and celebrate him. You know what? I'm gonna shout him out on the uh, on the Instagram names and all that. What have yeah, you? Yeah, but I've seen a lot of Growers yeah. on Instagram, yeah. Who, um, of course, I follow a lot of growers too. Who uh, as we uh, should do like what they call teas, and it's all like live stuff, guano, worm castings, yeah, uh, compost. Honestly, his though, as you 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 follow him as well. We see the pro- the the progress. the progress. Excuse me, but yeah, you see the progress from what he was. Every step is what he's doing, and he's good at it. So you know what? I shout out talent when I see it, because there ain't no denying it. I don't care if I'm listening to Britney Spears. If the bitch hit a song that was that shit, I got to give her... her I got to. Because that's what she's... That's what she does. She she did that. So if you ain't feeling it, I mean, there's something wrong with you. Ain't no hate in my bone unless I'm hating how I'm taking a shit in the morning. You hear me? Alcohol's a motherfucker. Uh. What? Uh oh. You got feeding going on. Feeding going on. She's got some feeding going on. I just call that sativa. I don't even have a name for it. It's a. Just sativa. It's a sativa. Definitely. Sativa. But, yeah, that's. Okay, so mine. Like I said, bushed out. Just yeah. from when I thinned it. Mm-hmm. From the top. Huh, where's that picture of when I, like, yo, that's when I thinned her out. Yeah. Now, some of those leaves on the side right there look kind of like these ones, but that's just because they're premature, early. Yeah, they're well, yeah, those were, e- they're, they're early and they were hot, so. Yeah. They're still growing. Yeah. And then... But they're big. That was when I decided to build the spacer. Yeah, they're big. Whoa. See. That's what a space bucket is, dude. Put that inside of five-gallon buckets with light on top. Wait, isn't that a five-gallon and bucket? And air filter through. That's what it is. But... Was she at 10 inches now? And that's after I topped it? Man. And then it bushed out again. I give you this. You're catching up to me real quick. Yeah? Real quick. Yeah. Ten inches? You can measure that. Probably like a foot, foot and a half. Oh, no. Yours is a tall boy. That's uh, the ten inches, though, but how far you came is so little. Oh, yeah. If I would have kept that main yeah. stalk, I would have shot up with... Will be as big as mine. Yeah, if I wouldn't have topped it, it'd be tall as shit. But yeah, mine bushed out crazy. Yeah. 
You guys, if you're listening to this podcast live, we live. are on Instagram right now doing posts and all that good creative stuff. We'll be we, back live really on that do too. This. Don't worry. All right. We got multiple accounts to hit you from. Don't Follow us trip. on. Or, um, we do this. You. I ain't even be disrespectful today. I just don't know what to tell you. Right? And get with it or get lost, or you might need a map to find some directions to where you're gonna go. Get with it or get rolled over, uh, folks. The party's not over there, it's over here, and if you ain't with it, I can't help you. I was gonna start ask to tell you a question about yes. my grow. If you, I was just gonna get your input on it. Okay. Now, built the spacer. Uh huh. I've got enough room to have that kind of as a full time thing if I keep the lights, and I put. A uh, white LED light strip on the bottom spacer. White lights in the LED? Yeah, but do white okay. LED lights mixed in with the CFL on top? Yeah. What I do like you think that, that would act? Because personally, be? from a uh, from a ghetto, do you think that'll, that'll, that'll you strengthen you about the that size? Bullshit little ghetto girl I had in yeah. way back when. Yeah, I remember. That thing was lined with just aluminum foil inside half of uh, like three-fourths of a shoebox. Right. And it took, because of the light reflection. Oh, yeah. Because the bulb was just a regular 40-watt bulb. But it took to it so good because of the reflection and the heat. Yeah, because the light was bouncing exactly. off and hitting where it so, needed to. So, with the, the LEDs going up and the light on top, that thing is going to be ridiculous. Not only I think really, the side, I think yeah, the inside so grows. Much, you're going to have to... Uh, I'll really have to, yeah, do the sea of green. a shitload of fan leaves. Oh, yeah. Because it's just going to bush out so much, it's going to be retarded. Let's see what happens. Oh, man. So to the news. Space buckets, Buck- different grows, individuality, training, how the uh, the LEDs uh, help supplement okay. that light and the growth. Because you know what I'm saying? We like that supplemental light growth. That sounds good to me. Yes, sir. Now, for those of you uh, just catching up, our sessions are sponsored today by um, Hennessy's Possible. Anything's possible. And uh, you can get that on the uh, Evan Williams. You can get you those know, on our friends. store here. He kicking with us a lot. And if you want them made into a custom bong, you can go to mkt.com Ooh. slash God. elevated lifestyle. Where you can buy all of it. Get all of With it. With future products to come. All of it. All we also of have it. apparel. Spreadshirt.com uh, slash Elevated Lifestyle LV. As along with uh, cell phone cases. We got what? those too. So, um, iPhone, oh. Samsung. iPhone, Samsung. If we, we, shit, we might as well just uh, get into the shoelace game. Almost. We're almost there because we do have hoodies. And hoodies oh, have see, laces in them. Um, and, folks, we have men's and women's. Men's and women's CBD on, branded no. elevated lifestyle CBD, gear. You can't be mad. What you talking about? You ain't got to discriminate because it ain't THC. You ain't getting high. Look, man, I'm promoting you health CBD. I want you to have more of it in your life. Believe in us so we can believe in you. I want you to give it to your dogs. The products that you deserve. And represent All the, the elevated lifestyle brand all at the same time. Because, you know, the what are we doing just, merchandise just, is going to be different. We're going to do different stuff. With yes. the what are we doing merch? I'm gonna go look somewhere else. I'm looking for 
I, know, I guess you could consider what, us, what are uh, we doing? Rolling trays, elevated lifestyle being our main channel, right? Right. Our main that's brand. That's the main moniker. That's, that's our name, main name. But you can find our side of projects and and what have you on all through our elevated lifestyle. Everything's connected to that. If you can't find us on one, the other, or the other, or the other, right now we might do the a elevated lifestyle LV on Instagram. But once we stop on this next one, I'll so, some time, right? Ain't no reason you can't tap in. No reason at all. None. Because look, other than you just ain't feeling us, right? You're feeling us. You fuck with us. Now, you can also ain't hating if you ain't. Hating. You can grow. You can chime in at um, Elevated Lifestyle LV as well. That's where you're actually gonna get the link to the Spreadshirt store a little bit easier. So um, if you guys do want to support us by getting a T-shirt, go to Elevated Lifestyle LV on Instagram. Click on that link in that bio, and you'll go to our mobile store. Cool thing about that store, folks. We always have a different deal going on at any given time. That's just yes. something Spreadshirt does. They give out discounts. They do free shipping. They know how much this stuff costs. We they know it's expensive. It I mean, dang. It's twenty three forty nine for a t-shirt. And when we got it, we're going to give it. I'm just saying. Come on. Holla at your boy. Oh, how much a polo costs in, in, in Macy's or something? Look, man. Don't even get me started, man. man Look, I'm wearing a Baltimore Ravens uh, uh, authentic I I had to say something when, NFL when, when polo. I had you know, to say something. You know what I'm talking about, He's a uh, and, Frisco fan, you feel me? Yeah, but you know so, my mom was from Baltimore. Uh, I had to call him out on the uh, Baltimore. My mom was from Baltimore, man. But this polo is alone is a $70 polo. I'm, I'm asking you to spend twenty three dollars and forty nine cents at the minimum. A if you third. want to spend more, you can. That's up to your bank account. Hey. I know y'all like Kevin Hart. You know, Ball sometimes out. your money's in the savings account. I'm sure that because you got two accounts, and you know how it's set up. It's you gonna take what three days. Was, I had to go to the bank. And you know, they put look, I put a check point. in the bank, right? And then when I put the check in the bank, they told me it was gonna be five days. So now I gotta wait five days to get your t shirt. But then yo, I paid my cell phone bill and that came out right away, so I had a negative balance and then you know what I'm saying, things happened, I couldn't get your t shirt this week, dog. I got it next week though. Twenty three dollars and forty nine cents for a t shirt. I'm just saying though. No. And hold on. How much for uh Anything's possible. Oh, forty nine dollars. Oh, see, there you go, folks. Plus shipping. No, forty five dollars. Plus. Plus some shipping you win because it. glass you, is heavy. Let's let's be honest. You go to the to the shop. Glass is heavy. I don't give a fuck where you are in America. You go to the shop. You're surprised when you walk in. Up Fifty up for a hundred dollar ball. For a real good piece. Because that heavy glass. You feel me? We is having it. Trying to hook you up. But we are trying to, you know what I'm saying? Hey, support us, man. Because, look, supporting us supports you, gives you us and us and them and then we and all them other people around. I'm high as shit, so I don't know what I just said. But I know I like to spread education. And, you know, this podcast is one of those ways that we can spread information to you and then we can also, you know... Teach sure. each other different things by sparking different ideas, yeah. even between each other. So, yeah, yeah, this I would is a be, great format. Uh, I like it. I'd be content with just being an information hub for the our community. Seeing as there's a lot of people. I want to hook up with who, Mary Jane. A lot Snoop of people, Dogg, Mary in, Jane even company. within our community, don't know what the fuck is going on. True. They don't even know the breakdown of what's going, what they're smoking, medicating with, edibles. They just know they're buying it and it's mine. Right. Not for you new age smokers and all that. It is not the best thing to do. Know what the fuck you're doing before you do it, or you're just wasting your money or gonna have a bad trip. Check this out. And that's not what it's about. You should medicate to what you truly need. If you jump in head first into growing cannabis. Ooh. Wrong. No. Right. Because then once you get to the stage when you find out what you have, then start looking up when your cannabis you gotta, you gotta use the would first be right time you for you, in, it might not work out. So the first few times, it will. 
Now, however, I've tried that growing be, cannabis five times before this success. It took. Before it took. Exactly. I've tried plenty of times, and I can't count, but I've had only few of them take. Yo, and then you and, get lucky. But when they do, it's like uh, watching a little kid get pushed out. You trying to baby that motherfucker till it gets all the way up. Right? Because growing cannabis, especially inside of a space market, you guys, um, you notice there's a lot more interaction with you and your plant. Now, don't get me wrong, outdoor growers, they care and tend for their plants all the time. Especially if you're growing in a desert, you're checking on heat. You're checking your soil. You're checking everything that you're doing with it. If you're using nutrients, if you're a natural grow, whatever you're doing, you're tending to your plant as well. But growing in a space bucket, because then you have to go in there and adjust the light. So you're looking at your leaves a little bit more carefully than a lot of other people. You're, you're in that bucket a little bit more. You're taking it apart to get to leaves. You're putting it back together, making sure your leaves ain't getting all messed up and scrunched up and everything like that so this has been a really really cool um process for me just in the fact that i've gotten to see through making total mistakes i'm talking about i beat this plant up i've gone yeah root bound to know when your um hottest day of the point of the of the hottest point of your day is hottest point of of your day Mm -hmm. yeah you caught me up on that one yeah, because that's when you definitely most likely want to get your plant out of direct sunlight and into shade. There you go. But you want to yeah, you want to give it ambient light. Coming in. Yeah, you want to learn to give it ambient light at that point. Yes, yes. But yeah, and then see me growing indoor, I didn't. And then in like two hours, the sun is gone. So right. So then you've got to the ambient really light to, to cool. And it's more like a nat- nature would do. It gives it. You, you have shady time, then you have time where it's in direct sunlight. Yeah. So, mine. And don't ever shake your plant. Run with your plant. Move your plant too quickly. Nothing. You'll shock it, and it won't grow. It'll quit. Yeah, you can call stunting. Yep. You can stun it. You can shock it. You can uh, stress it out. Oh yeah. Um. You can you can stress it out to where your plant basically goes limp, but your plant is still green. And yeah, You're, there's nothing but, wrong with it. But then you can trick but, it, and like let's say you're in a veg stage, that's when you can trick it and go in a flower, and then do another, like it it'll it has to trick itself into doing something else, and it, then it might perk back up. So another yeah. thing about cannabis plants, which is really cool, is that they're resilient and they will repair themselves, yes. even when like. They're showing that sign of like, okay, I'm not growing anymore. Okay, that too. means, hey, I want to flower. Yep. That's when you need to get your your shock um, B1 Hardcore. that you need to put um, into a it's one a gallon. And you need to water whatever. your yeah. plant with shock um, stuff some, for about I suck some energy what, what six to seven weeks. Really? The shocking stuff. Oh yeah. That shocking with you mix in with the gallon jug of water. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's only like a teaspoon, and then you get like 750 ml. Oh, yeah. It's like... That's like the quartz that we have right now. Bucket. Like 750 is a fifth. That's like yeah. the quartz that we have right mm-hmm. now that we got. I've got six of those. Six, yeah, seven, eight. There's two. It's a pH up, a pH down, and there's there's something to like get your roots strong and everything Do like that. Do they have a pH Yeah, meter there's also there? a root strengthener, no. which, is just, which is just a vitamin that, that makes the shit, roots... Though thrive and grow well on. here's the thing yeah. it um it's an organic thing and it says it knocks the ph level way down in your water this thing i'm, I'm using tap i don't know yeah see so am i and it's been going hard this far healthy healthy yeah that's so what I'm but once you start adding things to that now you're fucking with it that's so why that's I'm why i don't know the pH or, up and the ph down Arts we'll be fun. back in a second, folks. Part four coming live in just a hot minute. <laughs> and a brief um, one. We're going to take a hot break, you guys. We, Come on now. Cannabis and empty stomachs don't do well. We My gotta, man's got to uh, eat and suck down some Red Bull. We got to regenerate. You know. Yeah, get that vitamin water.